Hello everyone. In this tutorial we will explain what we mean by data classification and why it is important. Also, we will introduce the type of classification and type of data. Finally we will see how to prepare for a data classification project so, let's start with. What is data classification? Data classification is the process of organizing data into categories for its most effective and efficient use. From a security perspective classification involves the categorization and labeling of data according to its level of sensitivity or value to an organization, for instance as commercial in confidence, internal only or public. Why is data classification important? A good data classification allows organizations to apply appropriate security controls based on that predetermined category data. Controls often come with a cost and you don't have to use the same control for different data. If data is important then you will apply high security controls. And if data is not important you don't have to make controls that high. For instance. A marketing brochure will not have as high security controls as personally identified information of company employees. Because if brochure was leaked the negative effect to a company will be small while if P data leaked the company could be sued for millions. Classifying your data can save you time and money because you are able to focus on what's important and not waste your time and money putting unnecessary controls in place. What is types of data classification? There are three main types of data classification that are considered an industry standard. Content-based classification, context-based classification, and user-based classification. First type of classification is content-based classification. In content-based classification we inspect and interpret files looking for sensitive information. We focus only on data. The second type is context-based classification. Context-based classification we look at application, location, or creator among other variables as indirect indicators of sensitive information. The last classification type is user-based classification. User-based classification depends on a manual. End user selection of each document. User-based classification relies on user knowledge and discretion at creation, edit, review, or dissemination to flag sensitive documents. Each organization should pick the best type of data classification that suits its business. Type of data. The organization assigns a level to data depending on its importance or sensitivity. This level will determine the number of things including who has access to that data and how long the data needs to be retained. Typically, there are four classifications for data. Public, internal only, confidential, and restricted. Let's look at each of them. Type 1 is public data. This type of data is available to the public. For example, the company addresses and phone numbers. Company awards. It can be freely used, reused, and redistributed without repercussions. Type 2 is internal-only data. This type of data is strictly accessible to internal company personnel or internal employees who are granted access. This might include internal-only memos or other communications, business plans, etc. Type 3 is confidential data. Access to confidential data requires specific authorization and or clearance. Types of confidential data might include social security numbers, cardholder data, M and documents, and more. Usually, confidential data is protected by laws like HIPAA and the PCI DSS. Type 4 is restricted data. Restricted data includes data that if compromised or accessed without authorization, which could lead to criminal charges and massive legal fines or cause irreparable damage to the company. Examples of restricted data might include proprietary information or research and data protected by state and federal regulations. How to prepare for a data classification project. 
To prepare for a data classification project you should follow the tree following steps. Step 1. Evaluate your data. What types of data do you have? Where does it reside? E.g. databases. Cloud storage. Employees email folders. How much of that data is regulated? What policies and controls are in place to protect the data? Who has access to the data? Step 2. Define its value. What would the impact or risk be to the organization if the data was compromised, e.g. erosion of competitive advantage due to loss of IP, leakage of customers' personal details. Of customers' personal details. Step 3. Scope out your policy. Who should have access to each type of data? How many classification categories will you have? Keep them minimal. What will they cover? Define the labels clearly. Using a commonly understood language. What classification approach will you follow? Automated or user-driven? Which technology solution will you adopt? This could range from a simple internally developed tool to a comprehensive third-party software package. How will you communicate the policy and train people to use the selected solution? End of the lesson. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video please press like and subscribe. Goodbye.